the number of transactions on the Charm blockchain surpassed that of Ethereum fivefold on 17 September. Uh, Tron DAO uh, revealed uh, the DAO, which got its data from Manson, showed that the Tron transactions on the said data were four and a half million. Uh, uh, Ethereum, on the other hand, uh, registered a total of 880. Uh, thousand transactions. Uh, the disparity in transactions meant that there were more people uh, transacting on the Tron blockchain on 27 as uh, as compared to Ethereum. Uh, time for a look at data from uh, at Nansen AI uh, as of September 17th. Daily transactions for Tron and ETH are as follows. Uh, four and a half, uh, 880k daily transaction. Lots of People are using the Tron network uh, for more data. Visit uh, Trondale, September 19th, 2023. And although both blockchains make use of smart contracts, Tron edges out Ethereum with its vital function in gaming and gambling applications. Besides that, the underlying blockchain of Tron allows that for faster transactions than Ethereum. This capability is a major reason uh, most stablecoin transactions, especially from Tether, uh, pass through the TRC20 token standard then Ethereum's ERC20 into the best to combat the single hand Sioux City security two colognes in the road car and uh, both the coffees with the car with the gender does not supersede the pace of Tron. Um, another reason Tron has been able to uh, beat Ethereum to the higher transaction number is its adoption rate in in Asia to back to Sal Pacino analysis report in 2020 years and, and, and instead of a very very sense environment uh, uh, at that time Tether which is the largest stable coin per market cap was also uh, the most used stable coin in the region uh, while that has not changed uh, traders in the region also prefer uh, to employ the TRC 20 model of transacting uh, due to its lightning speed uh, Apart from leading Ethereum in terms of transactions, Tron has also been the driving force, leading the revival of the DeFi TVL. For the uninitiated, DeFi's overall TVL has not been performing well over the last few weeks. This is evident in the notable decrease in most protocols and chains. However, at press time, almost every chain had recorded a significant increase uh, in TVL with Tron's 20.74%, 4% increase being the highest in the last seven days. So the TVL is a metric used to measure the total value of assets locked to state in a particular platform. When the TVL increases, it means the project involved has become more trustworthy. However, a decrease in the TVL implies that market participants perceive the DeFi platform or DApp to be less trustworthy. Hence, this results in a decrease in smart contracts and liquidity attached to it. Uh, but in Tron's case, its TVL rose to 6.66 billion, while Ethereum had a higher TVL of $21.18 billion. However, the latter only registered a 7.41% increase within the same time frame. Uh, Tron increased by double digits.